Hey everybody, Liz LePage here, and in this short clip video, I want to show you guys something really amazing with our Perfect Eraser. If you've used on one in the past, you know all about our Perfect Eraser. It's our content aware tool and it's incredibly powerful. You can use it to remove everything from small blemishes all the way up to whole trees that you don't like. So I can use it across the board. Now it used to only be for portrait retouching or inside of layers. And it was really frustrating because if you were making edits and you noticed something you wanted to remove really quickly, you couldn't do that. Now what's great about the new Perfect Eraser is I have access to it across the board. So I'm here in our new develop module. You'll see the tone and color adjustments on the right. And on the left, there's my Perfect Eraser. And I have access to it with my raw processing. So if I don't like something, I'll be able to reset those tools later. I'm not stuck with them. So let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to do that. Choose your perfect eraser on the left hand side and just click and drag over things that you don't like. So we can remove stumps and rocks. I can go through and I can get rid of treetops that I don't like or tree trunks. I'm just going to click on a couple of these random little spots for you guys so I can kind of show you some of the other options that you have with this tool. So we removed a couple things from the bottom right hand corner and I'm looking at this image and I'm realizing it needs some dynamic contrast. I'll go ahead and click on effects on the right. We'll add a filter and choose dynamic contrast. Now dynamic contrast is incredible, don't get me wrong, but it does add a lot of detail to your image and all of a sudden things that you didn't notice at the beginning are starting to pop out like crazy. So I'm realizing that there are more tree trunks on the right than I, I want and a lot of them have gotten really dark because of this contrast that I've added. So I need to go through and remove a couple more. I don't have to go back into develop. I don't have to visit layers. The perfect eraser is everywhere. It's right here. So I'll go ahead and select that tool and let's go through and just click on a couple more of these tree trunks that I don't like. So this tool is useful and now I have access to it wherever I need it. One of the last really cool things about the eraser is if I jump back into develop and I'm going through and looking at my images and I'm making edits and I realize that, you know what, I need to leave all those tree trunks in there. They're part of the original photo and I shouldn't have edited them out. Well, instead of having to worry about how am I going to remove that? Do I have to start again from scratch? Oh my gosh. Go up to your settings drop down menu and choose reset all retouching tools. Boom. Everything that I retouched is back in there and I don't have to worry about the fact that I need to start again from scratch. All of the edits that I made on this image are still there tone and color, dynamic contrast, and if I want to maybe retouch one of those little tree trunks, I can do that. So the perfect eraser is everywhere that you're going to need it, and you have a lot more power behind it, which is pretty incredible.